Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I invite you to do so at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in residential or commercial real estate anywhere in the great state of Texas, but especially here in our lovely city of Houston, you can reach me directly on Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. I want to thank everyone in the audience for tuning into the Prime Real Estate Network podcast this week. As you see, my co host sitting in with me, man, on episode 183 mm. yeah. is not only a highly successful real estate broker, multi time author, serial uh -oh. entrepreneur, world traveler, and the proud <laughs> proprietor of the Pure Hustle clothing brand. I want to thank him for carving some time out of his busy <laughs> summertime schedule. And summertime <laughs> schedule. Down with us. It's the Texas Real Estate King, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. What's going on, bro? Hey, we on the clock. I got somewhere to be. <laughs> Time is money. Time is money. Time is money. And of course, no, the audience it, has noticed that we have a special third pilot riding in the cockpit this week. This is our fine Prime Real Estate Network kids correspondent. She is also my daughter who's celebrating her sixth birthday tomorrow. Big six. So I want to thank her for sitting in on the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. My baby girl, Miss Jada Simone Davis. How you doing? Good. I'm glad yeah. to have you sitting yeah. in with us. I want to thank you so much for your time. And this episode, and you know, Mr. Brooks, you know, I know how it is getting you here in the summer. Yeah. So this is one of the episodes where you went above and beyond. Man, listen, well, before we go there, yeah, what's up? Y'all make sure that y'all give my girl a like and wish her a happy birthday. We don't, we ain't just sitting up here for fun. This is why she's here. She's here to be celebrated. So those of you that are out there, y'all are viewing the show, make sure y'all are celebrating her. She got young energy and she is not shy. Let's go. We absolutely right. getting it going. So, you know, this is the part of the show, Mr. Brooks, where we try to give our audience a little insight behind the curtain. Okay. So that they have an idea of what the Texas Real Estate King does to secure the best and the brightest talent to sit in with our podcast right, every right. Thursday. This, so, the best. So could you I'm just saying. give the audience a little insight into what you had to go through yeah. to get a commitment Come on. from this week's guest? Hey. <laughs> Honestly, I had to find my way onto her calendar. Right? Come on now. Their calendar, right? <laughs> because you know the thing is, is but it's but it's a it's a blessing, right? Because uh -huh. Life has been so uh, blissful for them, and I, I reached out to her right during the time period when they were getting everything ready for this amazing wedding that they had. So if y'all hadn't checked it out, once y'all get these IGs, y'all go check out all of the amazing stuff that they had going on. But uh, with that being said, it was just about getting on the calendar and getting the right time together. But uh, the history that I've known, uh, AZ, um, and then you'll, you'll give a better description, and KD has been a quite some time, and I'm just ex excited to have them here. They're doing something different than we've ever had on the show, so I'm excited just to explore their minds, explore their growth, and things like that. And you, everyone in the audience knows, here at the Prime Real Estate Network podcast, we celebrate those long-lasting business partnerships. Yeah. We believe that strength in numbers is definitely the way to success and this power couple yep. is a reflection and an inspiration for all those in the greater houston area when it comes to entrepreneurship and business ownership so i would like to introduce this week's guest today we have the number one power couple in houston when it comes to celebrity <laughs> event planning videography <laughs> and video directing so i'd like to thank the team from az events mr keith denson and his wife az how y'all doing oh, today thank, thank you for having us <laughs> 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 so I, told I, told I told you guys before we started this week's show that we're gonna have the time of our lives man the energy is so outstanding the weather outside is a lot cooler than it's been the rest of the week so we're doing yeah, great today sure. mm -hmm. yeah so first things first um and this is for both of you all because larry and i we always like to promote strong business partnerships yeah not only as a couple but also business partners for our audience first so you introduce your company and also share the benefits of combining you guys forces and working in tandem to build that company as well I go first. Yeah, ladies. Um, first. <laughs> I have a event planning company called AZ Events. We just specialize in event planning. If you want to customize it, we do that. Um, backdrops, DJ. If you need um, fire girls, Arielis, we have all those things as well. And of course, we have the best videographer out in Houston, Texas, right that here, my husband. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I'm Keith Denson, owner of Two Three Films. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. Obviously, yeah, I do a lot of her videos, so I get to, you know, see the behind the scenes work and how much effort and, and time and 
uh, just attention to detail that it takes to create these beautiful events. So, yeah. yeah. And with that being said, I've been in the background of some of these events just so we got done. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I ain't even seen nobody. No, he's serious. Yeah. 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 I got one talking about. I, I shared it a couple of different times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so close. Like, it was so clean in there. It was, it was almost like the video was set up for your boy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just so that y'all know, y'all have seen. You know, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Man. I got to ask this question because um, there are so many couples that have two different business disciplines like you guys have. And for whatever reason, it never clicks to them to combine their forces Mm -hmm. right? right. and to add to each other's brand, add to each other's business and make it all explode two, three, ten times over. So at what point did you guys decide, decide to combine your forces? Was it something that just one day, did one of you two have an epiphany, or was this some advice that you got from mentors? Uh, I, think, I can um, answer that. Uh, so for me, it was um, I was doing real estate at first, mm-hmm. and she was doing event planning. And then, you know, the uh, 2020 hit, everybody kind of been isolated and things like that. Mm-hmm. So um, as people slowly started to have small gatherings and things like that, they turned to her. And so mm-hmm. it just kind of bounced off of my work to – shoot her videos and you know put her events together in a video form and just kind of show the world what she's doing so they just kind of mess together that way and so. with me with event planning we're creating memories like it's yeah. not just right in that moment we want it to last a lifetime we want you right. to be able to look back at that and be like man we had such a great time celebrating with our family and our friends yeah. and what better way to do that than put a video with it as well so that way you have that to go back and look at like i feel like videos anything on the internet is forever it's forever so you get to relive those moments when you're feeling down or you you know you had a bad day or whatever you can go back and revisit those moments and those memories and that'll give you motivation to keep striving because at one point in time you were happy you were this happy with your family and friends and you can you can relive that and it should you know motivate you and help you through your time you know one of the cool things is and larry you can speak to this because one of your um, more popular taglines is that your network can equal your net worth. And you're really a big proponent of networking, getting Mm -hmm. out, going to different events, being seen, being heard. We've been to so many real estate events Mm -hmm. over the years that sometimes they all seem to be pretty much the same. Mm. But since we have the team from AZ Events here in the studio, I want to make sure everyone in the real estate community that's a part of our audience have an idea that today mm-hmm. they can add something to their networking events, add something to their home buyer seminars that has not necessarily been a part of what they've done as far as marketing and branding. Yeah. You've been to their events. Yeah. You what know, type of cool things do you think they could add to some of the real estate networking events that other people are planning in the future? Well, man, they have everything now. I mean, will you have the lady that comes down out the city? Aerialist. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> when they sit in the bubble. Yes, uh, champagne girl. Yeah, the the champagne, champagne girl. So, yeah. so here's, the, here's the key to what I'm saying, right? We don't sometimes know what it is that we don't know, right? Ah, and so absolutely. one of the things that I always tell people is that you should always sit down with your event planner, a videographer, and these are the people that you sit down with to pick their brains or either actually do... Act, maybe use their service in order to Mm -hmm. get a better understanding on what you're missing out on when you're not branding yourself Mm -hmm. right because sometimes we'll see it on social media and we'll feel like oh it's too complicated well yeah it may be complicated in my wheelhouse because that's not what i do Mm -hmm. but if it's something that you wake up doing every morning it's not as complicated right you know because i look at your videos and i'd be like man how did he get that to look like that but it's maybe (laughs) but it could be an editing tool that he got or an eye that you just don't see as a consumer and and i'm one of those people like i I stay in my lane and I learn some things, but sometimes you just got that secret touch yeah. that your pinky finger can slide over yeah. and hit yeah. the right way, right? Or like uh, one of the things that I, at the casino night that really stood out, I did the uh, 360 thing at the casino night. Mm-hmm. Man, I was fly. Man. Mm-hmm. Hey, if y'all missed the casino night, <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the last one we did over there at uh, Hughes Hangar? It was... um. The, the all white, not all white, but something with some roses on it. We was out, we was gonna fly outside. But with all that being said, is it always an opportunity to sit down with pit professionals and really get an understanding on what you're missing out on that you feel like may be difficult? That's a that's a secret skill set that they have. Yeah, right. a lot of people don't know 
there is a lot of behind the scenes that that goes on with event planning. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure the budget budget is right. Vendors show up on time. Everything has a time stamp. Like you have to be on time, punctual. You want to give the the client like that experience, that VIP experience. They're yeah. spending money with you, so you mm -hmm. want to make sure that they have the best experience possible. Yeah. And same thing with um, videography, yeah. editing. Like he's up until four or five in the morning, sometimes wow. six in the morning, trying to put out content for his clients to help them grow their businesses as well. No doubt about yeah. it. Yeah. And then yeah. one of the more important things that um, Larry and I, we try to discuss amongst each other, and then when we meet with other agents, those that come to us for advice and mentorship, is that there are certain things that you need to outsource. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, thing about sure. your mm -hmm. company is that you allow business professionals and entrepreneurs to take all the planning Mm -hmm. off their plate because we all know from a business perspective they advise us quarterly events yep. keep it on the um, calendar have something consistent mm -hmm. but people sometimes when they're building their business they feel like working harder shows that they're actually in the grind mm -hmm. more they want to feel like I'm I want to look busier mm -hmm. yeah. could you yeah. just explain to those in our audience why someone like you could aid them by taking these things off their plate and allow them to free up time to focus on things that's going to make the event better from a dollars and cents perspective. Um, I'd say reaching out to me. So I have my phone with me all the time. So once you become a client, you have my phone number. So you can call me, text me. If something comes to mind, you can reach out to me. It's not a delayed email or anything like that. So I'm reachable at all times. And once we lock in, I take I take full control from there. So if there's a deadline that needs to be met, if there's a payment that needs to be made, you'll know ahead of time. It's not something that you have to think about, oh, I have to run my business, but I also have to think about when do I need to pay the caterer? What cake do I need to get? Who do I need to speak to about that? All those things behind the scenes we handle. If you want to customize anything, we take care of that. Like you send over your logo, we'll do everything for you. Everything is Wow. done right here you want to add a videography he does photos and stuff too yeah. we take mm -hmm. care of that as well dj anything like that like we're so hands-on to where you can just show up to the event and everything will be ready by the time you get there let me know when to set up the date the start time the end time and we'll make it happen no and you know, I, that's, but that's but you know what that's the most amazing point because i think a lot of times when people overwork themselves is they're trying to put every fine part of the thing that part of the event together and you trying mm -hmm. to pick in you trying to pick this person pick that person if you get an expert that this is what they do mm -hmm. then they already have the inside resources that not only going to give you a better deal when it maybe come to um you know pictures or cakes but they're going to even know how to identify based on the story that you give if it's for a wedding if it's for an anniversary those are two different setups that may require two different things so they're going to be like well on this one you might can wear white but on this one pink is a color that most mm -hmm. people wear you know mm -hmm. so i love that part about someone that's in you all's fields and in your steps y'all seen so many things yeah. to where you can help somebody put together yes. the vision yes. and i think that's the biggest part for me mm -hmm. i can always want to do something but i don't have the vision a lot of times i'm gonna sit there and be like i don't know what color to wear like and i, I but was gonna say that too man you know? that, uh she she has a lot of uh well people in general you yeah. know tend to think that um events are typically easy to put together they can make <laughs> right. a few phone calls yeah. and just yeah. kind of put everything together but you know, a lot of people get hit with that reality that it's really not, yeah. you know, and so that's where she comes into play. And, you know, I've seen tons of people tell her, man, I, I tried to do this on my own. They'll reach out to her and it just be a breeze, oh, you yeah. know, so I like yeah. reach out last minute because they try to do it themselves, but they mm -hmm. they can't. They just they mm -hmm. have too much on their plate. I've stepped in a day before yeah, and even 24 two hours weeks before. before. Yeah. 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 No, just, Make it happen, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Even yeah. KD, like, yeah, 24 yeah. hours. Like, yeah. 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 He's flipped he's, yeah. he's yeah. some furniture and then recorded the whole yeah. thing as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, and the thing, and just to speak to that point, and I know it's tough because no one wants to seem like they're tooting their own horn. Mm -hmm. For sure. But for someone in your position, I want everyone in the audience to understand, even if you are the most organized planner, there are so many steps to making an event successful. You can do... 10 of your 13 tasks perfectly and you forget to follow up with the caterer mm. right. and something as small as that will just totally upend everything that you have going on mm -hmm. and so for you 
it's not only that you know caterers. It's not only that you have a videographer in house. It's not only that you can find balloon artists. Mm -hmm. It's that you've worked with these companies on numerous occasions, mm -hmm. and you have a certain synergy and chemistry. Yes. Mm -hmm. That if you just someone going on Pinterest, Googling, looking up reviews. Yeah. You even if they have five star reviews, you've never worked with them before. Yeah. Right, right. You don't know how they operate. Yes. And when working with AZ events, that's something that they don't even have to worry about. They can rest their mind and focus on actually integrating right. themselves and working with the people that's going to be there. Yes, right. for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think for for me working with um, some of my vendors, we've probably worked together for three years, wow. some a year, some a few months, just so that way. We're trying out different people, but we have that go-to. Like, if you want this and your budget is a certain amount, I have this person for you. Mm -hmm. Or if you're on the lower end, we also have someone for you. So which, whatever your budget is, we have someone to fit that for you. That's why AZ Events is so special because we customize it. You may need a backdrop but not need personalized napkins or a DJ oh, or these things because man. sometimes – uh, well, a lot of the times when you're dealing with planners, they provide you with a package and this is what it is. And you're probably paying for stuff that you don't even need you to pay need, for. Wow. But with us, we can customize it to whatever you need. And that way you're not wasting money. You're getting you're getting your money's worth, basically. So, yeah. Wow. You wow. know, um, I thank you so much for sharing these things, because, you know, we all sometimes as entrepreneurs and business ownerships we can get to the point where we micromanage mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. and it's hard to outsource it's hard to trust people it's hard to invest emotionally in whatever it is that you're building because for us you know it's always a labor of love yeah, yeah. so i want to thank you all for providing a service that is so invaluable but sometimes you got to twist a person's arm to see the true value. Yes, <laughs> and, no, and I'm telling true. you, because I, I know <laughs> that's a fight that you have to fight on a regular basis. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I want today's episode to be something where everyone in the audience who's worked with you, who's worked with Keith, can get some insight into your personality on a deeper level. Yeah. Because I think sometimes when you're doing um, business presentations and you're talking about your services, sometimes they don't actually have the time to sit down, mm -hmm. yeah. get to know you all, get to have an idea from a foundational standpoint why it is yeah. that you guys do what you do. And I want to talk to that, talk about that a little bit when we come back from our break. Okay. Because I'm very interested in knowing what was you guys' life like before entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. what you guys did before you guys became business owners. So I want to thank you so much for being yeah. so transparent. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm going to have you ask you those questions when we come back from our break, if you don't mind. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. yep. Thank you for tuning in to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. We're going to take a short break to hear from our sponsors, but we'll be right back. IG. I'm serial entrepreneur Larry W. Brooks, and I'd like to personally invite you to take a closer look at the Pure Hustle clothing brand, along with several books that I've authored to take entrepreneurs, small business owners to the next level of their business. So please take a look at shoplwb.com. How do you survive? Three years ago, I set out on a mission to create the blueprint for how we could go into our own neighborhoods, buy blocks, renovate them, and combat the negative effects of gentrification. Today, that vision is reality. Our project is located in the heart of the historic Lyons Avenue Business District in Fifth Ward of Houston. Lyons Avenue was once a thriving black business district with businesses and commerce. However, after desegregation, that all changed. Now, we are recreating that legacy. These buildings are 100 years old. We just gave them a new life. This house was built in 1925 and was vacant for years. It's now a podcast studio and is rented out as an event space for everything from engagement parties to TV commercials, music videos. City Council even had meetings here. We've had birthday parties. We've had baby showers. And the five to $10,000 a month generated in this building. This is Prime Real Estate Rick, and I'm here to present to you this week's Prime Real Estate Network Home Buyer insider this beautiful four bedroom two and one half bath home is located in the highly sought after hanover forest community in north harris county this beautiful property can be you and your family's private sanctuary from all the hustle and bustle of big city living reach out 
to the Texas real estate king, Mr. Larry W. Brooks, or myself, Mr. Prime Real Estate, Rick Davis, to schedule you and your family's private showing today. Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please feel free to do so at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, I'm here for you. You can reach me directly on Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. My co-host, the Texas real estate king, Mr. Larry W. Brooks himself. If you are a real estate student, an aspiring real estate professional, or you're looking for a new real estate home, Look up myself or the Texas Real Estate King, or you can visit our website at brooksanddavis.com. Schedule a consultation because we would love to talk to you about everything we're doing at the Brooks and Davis Real Estate family. Our third co-host holding it down with me on the eve of her sixth birthday. Sixth birthday. Miss mm-hmm. Jada Simone six. Davis. How you doing? Yep. Good. Appreciate you for hanging out with us today, man. You having a good time? That, that's what's up. Appreciate you. Yeah, we love your energy, man. Look, the show just wouldn't be the same without you. Mm-hmm. This six-year-old energy is just something, <laughs> something different. You excited so to turn? Y'all make sure y'all put some hearts out there. Y'all put some birthday celebrations. <laughs> and y'all appreciate my girl, man. She's standing in, in here for y'all today. Yeah, we holding it down, yeah. man. So thank you so much for sitting in with us. Oh, we taking. Hold on. She taking cash apps right. too. You know what I mean? We got to put this college fund in the play stocks. Huh? Y'all want to buy some stocks? We do that too. So yeah, I'll we get it all going. Here. No doubt. No mm-hmm. doubt. I want to thank our guest this week, man. We have the team from AZ Events, man. Houston's number one celebrity event planning power couple, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Keith Denson and his wife, AZ. How you doing? We feeling good. We doing, doing good. Great, doing yeah. Great. Hey, man, look, uh, the energy has been great. The transparency, um, the way you've, you've been able to illustrate some of the um, challenges and some of the benefits that it comes with being a entrepreneur, business owner, and a partnership. Yeah. It's something yep, that I yep. think so many members of our audience will appreciate, be inspired by, and be motivated by. So yeah. I want to ask this question because- and I want to kind of tie into it too, because yeah, I don't know if we had a chance, but congratulations, they really newly with. Yeah, we're yeah. newly yeah. with. Yeah. 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 Two, is yeah. it three yeah. weeks yeah. in? Yeah. 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 See, Larry, that's yeah. what I love about you, brother, because yeah. we- yeah. I yeah, try to always yeah. reserve the right. Don't be leaving me out. Don't be leaving me out. I'll be proud, man. Yeah, let me get my hand go. Don't be leaving me out. 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 Don't be leaving me Two weeks. weeks this weekend. June 25th, 2022. Oh, okay. Two or three weeks. I don't know. Yeah. yeah don't so, worry. Get we lost track. Right we, we married now. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, no yeah, matter. Yeah, get, get off the specifics. Get off the specifics. <laughs> were we local? Do we have a destination wedding? We was it a, a big wedding? Was it wedding. friends, family? Well, we had an old event planner, so you know. Yeah. Okay, no, no, so, no, no, no. And that's what's so real. Thank you, Larry. I'm just As saying. As an event planner. I'm pretty sure you to connect. Yeah. 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 When you see it, it's like a movie. Yeah. It's like a movie. As an event planner, was there any extra anxiety? You planning out your own nuptials and your own event from this standpoint. Could you give us a little <laughs> a little of the ups and downs if I there were any? Yeah. I see why people hire planners because yeah, okay. there's so much that goes into it. So yeah. I not yeah. only did the bridal shower myself, but I also planned the trip because we did have a destination wedding in yeah. St. Lucia. Mm-hmm. And I also did our wedding. And he was with me the whole time. So yeah. a lot of the times it was like, hey, babe, what do you think about this? Like, I would only ask him when I knew yeah. that I needed to get a response <laughs> yeah. from him. But pretty much everything else I did myself because I didn't want him to, like, worry about it or stress about it. I yeah. was just like, I'm just going to ask him for this month. Yeah, she took on all the stress uh, yeah. herself. And yeah. I was just like, babe, you could have told me some of these things were going on. No. Yeah, after no. the fact, though. I'm yeah, yeah. too so much behind yeah. the scenes, yeah. but, like... Yeah. When you're going through it, mm-hmm. it makes you appreciate people like me in the world. And I, I'm like, I see why people hire me to do these things yeah. because with everything else going on and trying to run your business, now I have to worry about an event. Yeah. It, it's, it's so much. It's a lot that goes into it. It was. That's what's up. You know, the beauty of it though is yeah, is is it it looks flawless 
on social media. I watched it. I felt like I was watching a movie. I was tapping in on a weekly basis as everything was coming together. But speaking of that, speaking of videos, speaking of music, I know we talked about music videos at some point. Yeah. How's that going and how did you get into that field, Katie? Man, it's going great, man. Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned before, um, I was in real estate, you yeah. know, and when the pandemic hit, it just kind of like pushed me into what my passion really was. Yeah. You know, I enjoy real estate, you know, don't get me wrong, but my passion is videography and yeah. creating films and things like that. So, you know, while everybody's sitting at home on their phones and things like that, I'm just dumping content, dumping yeah, content, yeah. you know, and uh, from there it just took off, man. Yeah. So I, I literally started it two years ago. That's what's up. Yeah, and yeah. Let, let me ask you, when it comes to something like that, do are you... Like, do you have someone that helps you write maybe with the artist's vision, maybe? The treatments. Uh, is that what it's called? You know, I don't know the terms. I'm just... So, treatment. Treatment. Yeah, yeah. So, it's treatments. Yeah. Okay. So, that's something that I just do all in-house. Um, really? As he mentioned before, you know, outsourcing would be great. But, yeah. you know, being a, a, a small production company right now and the lack of me trusting people. Yeah. You know, I just kind of do everything on my own, man. That's As she mentioned too, man, I, I okay. literally get like four hours of sleep a day, man. Yeah. I got to yeah. ask you though, Katie. Yeah. I got to yeah. ask you, bro. You're yeah. young, Katie. It's okay. No, no, this, this, no, is, this, is, this is five this more years you're going to need Larry. <laughs> <to play. laughs> no, right is, now, just all go hard. Right, right. This is the $100,000 question. So, Keith, as a director, how were you able to let go and get in front of the camera and let somebody else man, film you? you and who what? did you entrust <laughs> you with that what, responsibility? It's so I just kind of so all right. Let's rerun. So for the for the wedding, we decided to go with kind of like a home video ish type feel. Right. So we decided to just kind of give the camera to multiple people. Yeah. So for yeah. that, it, you know, so it's it like a like, first person yeah, point of view yeah, type exactly. of deal. Yeah. 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 Like like back exactly. like back yeah. in the day, yeah. how it, how it used to be done. You'd get the the, the right, what the is it called, the camcorder. Yeah. 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 It, it, it hasn't. It it's right. not in production yeah. yet. So yeah. he'll get started on that yeah. soon. Yeah. So I'm but working on that. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we got to make sure. So basically, he's doing it himself. That's the answer to the question. He gonna tell me about that. I'm like, man, you could have told me. I would hit that button. Yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. so, so for everyone, because, you know, um, I'm so excited to have you all here because there are so many people, like Larry always talks about, especially post-pandemic, who have started new businesses. Families are starting to be closer together, be more self-reliant. Mm -hmm. There are more couples who used to have separate professionals, professional ventures that are now combining their powers. So I hope you guys serve as a, not only just a catalyst, but an inspiration. Mm. And this is a question that Larry and I ask every week, and this is a question for both of you all. When you think back to your upbringing as a young person, was there anyone in your family or your close personal circle, someone from church, that might have owned their own business or been an entrepreneur that you could credit as being almost like a lighthouse or a beacon of inspiration that might have let you know when things get tough, I've seen this before and I can persevere. Well, you want me to go first? Yeah. Oh, We're going to get I, that from both of you. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, no doubt. From both of us. So. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it might be the same, but for go me, for I didn't have that growing up like that business role model that has everything going on like I'm from Louisiana so it's a lot of struggle out there and my aunt she played professional basketball um for the Houston Comets when they first started mm -hmm. okay. and so she was living here she did overseas before the WNBA came about yeah so she took it upon herself to move me my siblings and my mom out to Houston mm -hmm. and wow. that's where it sparked from so by her being able to be one of the first women in a WNBA, that was an inspiration. She's a me. trailblazer. Yes. Yeah. Right. But right. other than that, you don't really see, well, I didn't really see like black people mm -hmm. like owning their own businesses when right. I was growing up. So for True. me, it was like, these are things that I want to be able to do and leave a business, a legacy behind for, for my kids to come and, and those things like that. Because sometimes you need to see that people don't know that you can own your own business and, and do these things and you don't have to work for somebody else. You can do True. this that's yourself. Right. That's right. So that's, that's my, my, you know, and it's, uh, for me, it's actually the same thing, you know, um, I was sort of raised where I was raised by my grandfather up until, you know, he passed away when I was 11. Mm -hmm. uh, and so for me, you know, um, 
that generation of people kind of had a worker's mentality. So yeah. for me, I didn't have many entrepreneurs that was around and things like that. Yeah. So kind of where it sparked for me was, you know, throughout basketball. Yeah. Just playing basketball, trying to, you know, everybody have hoop dreams and mm -hmm. trying to make it to the NBA and things like that. But then there comes a point of time in your life where that dream may not be for you, you yeah. know, and maybe you need to take another step somewhere else. And yeah. as she said, I just was one of those people that wouldn't, didn't want to work for anyone long term because yeah. I kind of enjoy the freedom of entrepreneurship being able to kind of move when I'd like to yeah. take care of things like that so yeah it's no cakewalk though it's it's, yeah, it's pretty it's difficult it's hard I, work yeah, but definitely. like knowing definitely. that you're doing it to build your brand to build yourself up to leave something behind for your family I think it's all worth it then okay. yeah. I know and I, I and I'm, I'm on board with that because just kind of like we just laughing about like yeah. sometimes we don't get as much sleep as we need yeah, to yeah, for sure. and in the beginning I believe that's okay because yeah. I think that you're putting together the foundation that's going to allow you to move the way you want to move, travel, and, and, and put other people in a place that you'll have that freedom to sleep yeah, at eight hours man. if you want it. But yeah, right now, yeah. I get it. Our yeah. son comes to to work with us, too. That's so right. he yeah. works. So at a young age, he knows what it is to work and how to make money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. important. Like You can't get anything for free. You have to work for everything. So, so AZ, right. please, for our audience, um, share with them how they can contact you, schedule a consultation, book your services today. You guys can reach me um, at theazevents.com or my Instagram, azevents underscore underscore. I'm talking about. Or you can email me at az at theazevents.com and you could get my number, but you're going to have to book with me first. I know that's right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. KD, how about you? Uh, so I'm at 2-3 I'm at, uh, Films at 2-3 Films on Instagram. Um, but pretty much everything kind of goes through. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, We're going to see one without the other. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't even worry yeah, about it. Like me on Facebook, too. I'm on yeah, Facebook, too. Sure. AZ Events. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, man, I just want to make sure we open up the line of communication because I want to be one of the dudes in the background like Larry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to be in the casino. I was like, really? I thought he was just joking, but when he said the casino thing, I'm like, man, okay, I remember it now. I want to thank y'all so much, man. For sure. Thank because you. this is something I've been looking forward to for the last couple of weeks. I know how it is on Thursdays. For all I know, you might be in the middle of helping somebody plan a big weekend event right now. <laughs> so thank you so much, Fred. Um, I urge everyone yes, in the audience, you. everyone in the audience, look them up, follow them on IG. Yes, please. Mr. Brooks. Yo, yo. You know what time it is, brother. Yeah. What's going to be going on in the world of the Texas Real Estate King between Thursday and Monday, bro? <laughs> I find y'all. Don't try to find me. <laughs> well, I put my four hours of sleep in in the past. I'm on that eight hour time limit. Uh, well, Miss Birthday Girl. Yo, Any yo. shout outs before we leave? Anybody you want to give invite out? Anybody you look forward to seeing this weekend on your birthday? Uh, yeah. Who you want to see? Um, um, I want to go. I want to see my school and my friends, and I also um. Want to see Granny at the school with me? Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah. all the kids in my daughter class, man, it's party time come tomorrow. So, if you thought about playing sick, don't. If y'all thought about going out of town, ask your mom and daddy to wait till Saturday because it's going to be lit <laughs> in the first grade class tomorrow at don't my daughter's school. Don't be bringing us no toys. Bring us cash. Cash, cash money. money. Yeah. Right. Right. Look, everybody say right. that at the cash same time. Cash everybody money. Say, money. So on behalf of myself, Rick Davis, the Texas real estate king, Mr. Larry W. Brooks, the team from AZ Events, and Ms. Jada Simone, the birthday girl, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. We'll see you next week at this same time. Hmm. If you need anything, reach out to us. But until then, everyone in the audience, be safe and be blessed.